Summertime is hardly a time of rest for field biologists on the Syracuse University campus. We're in the midst of growing season and this garden plot on South Campus is bursting with flowers and greenery. For Associate Professor Jason Fridley, it is truly a living lab. Which means we're very interested in how forests and grasslands and other types of plant communities respond to the environment, particularly things like climate change, but also the increased importance of invasive species. Those invasive species, some coming from across the ocean, have taken a foothold in forests in the United States and probably in your own backyard, too. This garden plot contains many of them, all part of Professor Fridley's research. One of our um, main reasons for establishing this garden is to understand a little bit more about the basic biology of these plants. The intriguing thing about them is they virtually all have very close relatives that are native here in the eastern United States. They do the same kinds of things. They use the same types of pollinators, dispersers. They get their energy in the same way. They green up the same time in the spring and they lose leaves the same time in the fall. And through a large survey of almost 100 species, we've actually identified that in some ways they're like their native cousins but in most ways they use a very different strategy of living in the understory environment here in our forests. It's a little bit of a paradox if you think about it. We're all taught that species evolve in place to respond to the environment that they're in. So how is it that one of their cousins coming from the other side of the world can actually do that much more effectively in a place they've never evolved in? So we're trying to figure out how is it that a seed from a honeysuckle from China gets into a forest and within 10 or 20 years can actually be more abundant in the understory of that forest than anything that the native community has to offer. Interestingly enough, Professor Fridley says the invaders are active much longer into autumn in terms of making food, photosynthesis, than native plants, staying green longer into the season. Why this is happening? Well, that's part of what this research is all about. Keith Koblen, SU News.